tricky baby no matter the currency Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Mzansi and welcome to Mzansi Scenes. So they have managed to keep us entertained for the better half of our lives with their craft but they have also made headlines for the wrong reasons that left Mzansi in shock. In recent years, celebrities have been caught off guard and they have been brought to order by the laws. Here are some South African celebrities who have been arrested and jailed for their bad behavior. At Moan we have Nati. Coming from a small town, a convicted criminal with nothing but a voice did not keep Nati Mangai down. The young man from a village where poverty strikes on a daily, Nati and his sister were raised by a single mother who sold food in town as a street vendor as means to put food on the table. He grew up with the love for singing, although he was a devoted Christian and a firm believer, with a growling stomach and empty cupboards at home, life on the dark side was calling and ultimately he fell for the trap his peers were already caught in and became a slave to crime. Him and his friends started looting, mugging and soon became known as hooligans around their community. Nati learned the hard way that crime indeed does not pay. He recalled the day they wanted to take a man's life but the weapon jammed. So they took his wallet and ran. Unfortunately, the man knew one of them and reported them to the police. Soon after that, they were arrested and were held at holding cells where they escaped. He fled and went to Joburg. Soon after that, reality hit him that it couldn't run forever. Having left his sister and mother behind, Nati went back home and handed himself over to the police. He was sentenced to four years. As he sat in that cell, he started thinking about his life and what he was meant to do with it. That experience shaped him to become the man he is today. After coming out, he immersed himself deeply in his music. He taught himself how to play the guitar and started writing music about his life and experiences. He entered a local talent show but came second. He entered again the following year and claimed the top prize. As part of his winnings, he got an opportunity to record an album which would go on to be a multi-platinum selling hit. At number 2, we have Kanye Mgangisa. In 2019, Kanye was arrested on allegations of drinking and driving. Video footage of the actress's arrest by Joe Burke Metro Police went viral on social media after originally being posted on Twitter. In the video, Kanye is seen with her hands behind her back while she and a female officer can be heard having a heated verbal exchange. According to reports, Kanye appeared in the Randback Magistrates Court on charges of driving under the influence of alcohol. She was released on 1,500 rands bail and ordered to reappear in the same court the following month. Kanye's attorney confirmed that the video was real and that the actress was arrested on suspicion of drinking and driving. He said, I do not see her doing anything wrong in the video other than standing for herself. People should give the process a chance and remember that at this stage it is just an allegation. Kanye first broke a silence after the video surfaced and apologized for the contents. She said, I was in the wrong. No one should be ever driving under the influence for whatever reason. That I can acknowledge but keep the same energy. Treat me like you would with everyone else. She claimed that what the video didn't show is how the police officer treated her before she got out of her car. Kanye shed light on the effect the video has had on her career. She said, there was a campaign I was supposed to do. I got the dreaded email that due to the video that is circulating, we're going to have to, you know? To this day, clients have taken a step back, especially the influencing work. It's really taken a knock, which really sucks. At number 3, we have Trevor Noah. Trevor had an unexpected rise to fame. The comedian experienced a childhood filled with turmoil. When Trevor was young, his mother bought a broken down Volkswagen Beetle that would often not start, but when it worked, the two went on adventures. That's when his mom would let him drive on the highway. His mother would put him on her lap and let him steer and work the indicators while she worked the pedals and the stick shift. Noah's comfortability with driving at a young age wound up getting him into trouble with the police. Throughout his life, Trevor has had many run-ins with the police. As written in his book, Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood, one of those instances happened when a teenage Trevor borrowed a car from his stepfather's shop which had old cars and discarded license plates. 
Shortly after Noah had taken the car, he was pulled over by the police who did not provide a cause for stopping him. Trevor said, Cops in South Africa don't give you a reason when they pull you over. Cops pull you over because they're cops and they have the power to pull you over. It's as simple as that. The police ran the plate and when they did match the registration, the cops placed Noah under arrest for suspicion of stealing the car. He spent a full week in jail until he was released. Upon release, Noah tried to conceal the arrest from his mother and claimed he had been away for the week visiting a friend. What he didn't know was that it was his mother who hired a lawyer to post his bail. At number 4, we have OK Malum Kolkat. After Malum served time in an Australian jail after being found guilty of a crime, Mzansi pleaded for answers as to what exactly happened. The rapper, whose real name is Smiso Zwane, served one month of a six-month sentence in a Tasmanian jail back in 2016. When OK Malum Kolkat finally opened up about what had happened the night he got arrested in Australia, he said, I was lost in the hotel looking for my way to my room and there is a sliding door open so I'm thinking maybe that could be the way for me to get to the corridors to go to my room. But because I was drunk, instead of knocking, I just walked through. And then obviously, I would probably act the same way if somebody was in my room. It's scary. She woke up and then she ushered me out of the room. He said that he told the woman who eventually laid charges against him that he was drunk and was only trying to make his way to his hotel room. However, that didn't stop her from calling the police. Maluma continued, I guess she could see that I was really drunk and I told her that yo, I'm actually trying to get my way to my room. And then she called the cops and then I was like, okay, I'm going to explain to the police. And then when they got there, they were like, you'll explain when we get to the charge office. According to Maluma, the woman had changed the events of what had happened in the statement. He said, when I heard the statement, it was different now, like the story was different. He revealed that the woman claimed that he got too close to her. From then on, it got real for him. He claimed that it was so bad that he couldn't even call his family to let them know what had happened. He said, I apologize for acting like that, also just like going to countries and representing my country, but still getting that drunk, not drinking responsibly. I think it was wrong and I've been trying to watch that about myself. At number 5, we have DJ Black Coffee. In 2015, Black Coffee was arrested for speeding allegedly while trying to attend a family emergency. He was arrested on Christmas Eve when he was caught traveling at 200 km per hour in a 120km zone. Black Coffee, whose real name is Gosinati, was arrested on the N1 highway near the Marisburg Bridge. He released a statement on his Facebook page apologizing for the incident. He said, as some of you may have learned that on the eve of Christmas, the 24th of December, I committed an unfortunate offense of driving beyond the recommended speed limit. My occupation as a DJ requires long distance traveling and on that night I was on the way to fulfill another of my work obligations. While on the way, I received a family emergency call which compelled me to drive back home as a matter of urgency. It was around this hour at 11pm that I regrettably exceeded my speed limit and in hindsight should have been more cautious. The DJ added that although he had never committed an offence like this before, he had no intention of sending the wrong message to others. Black Coffee was taken to the Florida police station where he was detained. He received a bail of 800 rands and was expected to appear in court the following day. At number 6 we have Maggie Benedict. Generations actress Maggie, who is famous for playing a corner, was arrested in 2014 for allegedly stealing pain medication from a store at Crystal Mall in Randbag, Johannesburg. She appeared in the Randbag Magistrates Court and was released with just a warning after she allegedly stole a small 125 gram packet of Panados. News on how the store was aware of the shoplifting were unclear, with some reports saying that the store sensors went off as she exited. Two months after she was arrested, Maggie finally spoke out. The actress took to her Facebook page to make a statement about her legal problems. She stated, I did not steal headache tablets from checkers. I am innocent of this alleged crime and there was no basis for the arrest. Every item in my possession was paid for including the tablets I had purchased weeks earlier that were still unopened. Today, thank you guys so so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below and hit the notification bell.